Hello friends, welcome. I have created this uh, notes for our project, Reddit clone with Laravel and Inertia. So for the authentication, we need the user should have the username and we need to add the email verification for the subreddit. Any user can create subreddits or community and posts should belong to the subreddit. And also the URL is going to be the slash r slash the subreddit uh, slack. I'm going to add slack here. For the posts, any user can create posts. Posts belong to the community or the subreddit and user can add comments to the post and also a user can upvote or downvote the posts. For the front end, on the navbar we need the logo, the login and sign up button. We need in the front page we are going to display the list of posts and any card of the post can have a subreddit name, a username and the date, the title and the body text, also the comments count and the button to read the post, so the link to go and read the post and also the voting section, so up and down vote. We are going to have a sidebar and on the sidebar we need to have a card to create and create post and subreddit and also so to have a button and to click and create post or create a subreddit also a card for list of subreddits. Now I have also created the tables here so in the user table we need to add the username what I said for the community table migration we need to add the user ID name and I have added also the types here description and the slug for the community for the post table we need the community ID user ID title URL slug and votes here we are going to where when the user is going to upvote this post we are going to add one or when the user is going to downvote we are going to remove one also we have the comment table which we're going to have the post id user id and the content of the comment and also the votes table with post id user id and the vote Okay, now in this uh, video I'm going to create the Laravel project, install the Breeze package and also create the GitHub repository. So let's go in the laravel.com here, documentation. And if you go to the packages, we have this Breeze package. Okay, I'm going to open the my terminal and I'm going to navigate in my sites directory and here I'm going to create the project. So let's say Laravel new and the name is going to be Reddit clone. Okay. I have installed the Laravel installer here. And this project, uh, this tutorial is going, it's not going to show you the basics of uh, Laravel of or the basics of Inertia.js. I assume you know that. I just I'm going to show you how we can create something like this uh, Reddit clone with Laravel and Inertia. So now CD in the Reddit clone, okay, and let's install the Laravel Breeze. Paste this one and PHP Artisan Breeze install if, if you want to install the Breeze for templates or Blade templates, but I want PHP Artisan Breeze install with Vue because I'm going to use the Inertia. 
and also you can install the inertia separately but i'm going to use the breeze package which is a very useful for us and with one command we have inertia vue.js and all of our dependencies we need so here is the inertia let's pass that command php artisan breeze colon install and we need to use view also you can use the react but i'm going to use view so we need now to run the npm install and npm run dev copy paste that in enter and after that run the npm run dev also here is the if you use the ssr server side rendering okay let, let's run the npm run dev now and because we are using vid here is very uh, fast you can see here is our project reddit clone.test and laravel version 9.21 and the php 8.1 okay next thing is to create the github repository because we created that installed breeze and now we need to create the github repository uh, let's me open the chrome beta beta because here i have the github here i'm logged in and let's create a new repository here and i'm going to say reddit clone with with laravel and inertia okay let's create this one let's say git init in our project so i'm going to close this one git init git add all here and let's add the first commit to our project add the branch okay and I'm going to make some changes because I have uh, multiple GitHub accounts. So let's say here Laraveller. And the last one, we need to add the git push. Okay, let's refresh now. And here is going to be the project first commit here. And we have done all the tasks for this video. I hope you enjoy friends and if you like a content like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. See you in the next one friends, all the best.